what's up y'all welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here please don't hesitate clicking that subscribe button down below to join our family and become a lounger so today you guys it is the day before our easter party and your girl woke up and got done okay <laughs> um so i got up today and i literally deep cleaned the house i probably haven't deep cleaned like this in months to be honest with y'all i was wiping down walls cabinets like your girl was deep deep cleaning um i just like for my home to be in top shape when i have guests like i honestly don't understand how some people can leave their house messy when they invite people over but your girl she ain't one of them okay so i got up as you guys can see gown and all I deep cleaned the house. I made sure it was smelling nice. My kids kept saying it smelled like a hospital. Um, but we deep cleaned. Not only that, y'all, having five kids and a dog, this vinyl flooring, which I hate to the core, this light gray, I cannot wait to change it if we ever get a chance to. Um, it gets filthy. Between the kids running in and out, they literally go outside every day unless it's raining. And then our dog as well, it tracks the most mud and dirt and germs in the house. And although I do tell my kids to take their shoes off at the door, we're all sometimes guilty of not doing so. So that's something that I'm going to have to enforce a little bit more. But Charlie and I bust down these walls. We cleaned the walls. We made sure they were nice and clean and not yucky. She is literally the best helper, y'all. She always wants to be involved in anything that I got going on. And let me just tell y'all, she didn't work for free, honey. Because homegirl worked way too hard to be working for free. So she definitely got a little piece of an allowance. But we deep cleaned the house and got everything together. Because like I said, we had guests coming over the next day. And we had to get stuff done. from this world running on a hamster wheel but searching for something i can't feel i just wanna be a lost girl and fly. so once i finished deep cleaning the house i went ahead and started setting up as much as i could the day before so that i didn't have too much on my plate the day of I started off with these super cute little sack treat bags that I got from the Dollar Tree. I originally wanted to put in like non-candy items like stamps and stickers, but I ended up going to the Dollar Tree last minute for those items and of course they were sold out. Um, so I was at Target one day and I seen, you know, they have their different little seasonal snacks by the favorite day brand and i seen this caramel popcorn i'm like oh my gosh that'll be perfect to put in the little bags so i put a little bit in each bag i feel like the parents would appreciate the portions okay um but they turned out so stinking cute y'all and the popcorn was so good it had like icing and sprinkles on it so good okay the island tablescape was set up for the treat table. So I made it where they can get like cupcakes and cookies. And I used the tiered tray, which is also from the Dollar Tree. The quality, 100% 10 out of 10, okay? I wish I would've got two. It is so stinking cute. I love the little gold rod in the middle. Like it was just, it, it was a statement piece, okay? So she was definitely sitting in the front. We put cookies on that and then if you guys remember, I hauled the little stands back there in the back, the little treat stands back there in the back, and I had to go back for a second one. It is like a hard cardboard, almost like poster material. So I'm gonna try to hold on to those. I am not gonna throw them away when I'm done because when I say they held up so good, they held up good, y'all. For $3, like absolutely. They were so cute. And I wanted to do two because of course I wanted to put cupcakes and it wasn't large enough for me to put like a lot of cupcakes on one so i went back and i was so happy they had another one literally the last one and i got it also picked up some fresh flowers kwan got me some flowers i ended up buying some for myself <laughs> um but i bought some fresh flowers and i put them in a nice vase that i thrifted um behind it just to give it a little bit of life and earthiness um but it turned out so stinking cute y'all like i really outdid myself So 
once I finished setting up the treat table, I moved on to the food table. I found this super cute plastic book looking vase from the Target Dollar Swap for only $3, y'all, and I knew I needed it. I'm always getting flowers from Quan and buying flowers for myself, so I knew it would be like the perfect touch even on our everyday basis but i definitely wanted to add it to our food table with a candle right next to it and it turned out so stinking cute when i say everybody was like oh my gosh where did you get that vase from they were loving it we had some ham and cheese sandwiches i used super cute little flower and butterfly cookie cutters shout out to my elementary school friend she came through and helped your girl out because i was a mess okay although i tried to get most of really everything done the day before y'all know how that be i just I was just overwhelmed the day of and she came through and helped me out and so did my sister but all the kids had arrived you guys and they were just playing with bubbles I set up different little stations which I'm going to show you guys in a minute and they had some sensory fun chalk bubbles the mud kitchen and it was just good vibes y'all a very beautiful day a very beautiful Easter weekend we did the egg hunt and we just enjoyed having a good time with good friends and family It's like we're running in circles, going around every day, getting stuck in the hurdles of yesterday. Don't you want to go further away from the fray? Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our own way. Won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom? Breathe in the air. Look up to the moon. I'll meet you outside. time at our Easter party the next day was Easter and we spent most of our Easter at my sister's house so I didn't get a chance to get the kids reactions to their Easter baskets but I wanted to show you guys how I set it up it turned out so cute and let me tell y'all they loved everything thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all